It's beautiful. Imagine a giant sphere, bigger than you can possibly imagine. Now picture it engulfing the sun, capturing every drop of its energy. That, my friends, is the mind-blowing concept of a Dyson sphere. First proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960, this megastructure isn't about imprisoning the sun, it's about harnessing its almost limitless power. Think of it as the ultimate solar panel, but instead of powering your house, it powers, well, everything. The idea might sound like something straight out of Star Wars, but the science behind it is, sort of, plausible. We can do it. It has captured the imagination of scientists, futurists, and science fiction writers alike. Our civilization is hungry, not for food, but for energy. Every day, our demand for power grows exponentially, driven by our ever-increasing reliance on technology and modern conveniences. Because our energy supplies are running out. We devour fossil fuels like they're going out of style, which, thankfully, they are. These sources of energy are not only finite, but also detrimental to our planet's health, contributing to climate change and environmental degradation. But even renewable sources, like solar and wind, have their limits on Earth. They are dependent on weather conditions and geographic locations, making it challenging to meet our global energy needs consistently. Enter the Dyson Sphere, our theoretical ticket to an energy utopia. This megastructure could encompass a star, capturing its immense energy output and providing us with a virtually limitless power supply. The sun, that giant fusion reactor in the sky, pumps out more energy in a second than humanity has used in its entire existence. Harnessing even a fraction of this energy could revolutionize our world. It's fucked. A Dyson Sphere could capture a significant chunk of that energy, ending our reliance on fossil fuels and ushering in a new era of prosperity. Imagine cities powered entirely by clean, renewable energy, with no pollution or greenhouse gases. Imagine a future with abundant, clean energy. We could power our homes, industries, and even our most ambitious technological projects without worrying about depleting resources. We could power our cities, spaceships, and entire civilizations, pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve. And maybe even those fancy teleportation devices we've been dreaming of. The possibilities are endless when energy is no longer a limiting factor. Good old-fashioned portal fun! But it's not just about meeting our current energy needs. It's about securing humanity's future. A Dyson Sphere represents a leap forward in our quest for sustainability and long-term survival. To save the world. As our population grows and our technological ambitions soar, so will our energy demands. We need a solution that can scale with our aspirations. A Dyson Sphere could be the key to a sustainable future for generations to come. It promises not just survival, but a thriving, prosperous existence for all of humanity. Now, let's talk architecture, cosmic scale architecture. Imagine structures so vast they encompass entire stars. It's huge. There are a few ways we could design a Dyson Sphere, each with its own set of pros and cons. These designs range from the theoretically possible to the wildly ambitious. First, there's the classic solid shell, the one that probably pops into your head when you hear Dyson Sphere. This concept is both awe-inspiring and daunting. This would involve surrounding the sun with a continuous, rigid structure. Imagine a colossal shell capturing every bit of solar energy. Think of it as the ultimate Fabergé egg, but instead of gold and diamonds, it's made of solar panels and some serious engineering. The scale of this project is almost unimaginable. Then we have the Dyson Swarm, a more practical approach. This design breaks down the massive structure into smaller, manageable pieces. This involves a massive fleet of independent solar collectors orbiting the sun. Each collector works in unison to gather solar energy. Imagine a swarm of bees buzzing around a hive, each collecting pollen, or in this case, sunlight. This analogy helps us visualize the dynamic nature of the Dyson Swarm. There's also the Dyson Bubble, which uses giant, light-reflecting sails to trap sunlight. This concept is both elegant and efficient. It's like using a cosmic umbrella to catch some rays, but instead of getting a tan, we get clean energy. These sails could be adjusted to optimize energy capture. I can feel the sun. Each design has its own set of challenges, but the Dyson Swarm is often considered the most feasible 
at least for a civilization just dipping its toes into mega engineering. The journey to build any of these structures would be a monumental step for humanity. Okay, let's get real for a moment. Give it to me! Give it to me now! Building a Dyson Sphere, even a Dyson Swarm, is about as easy as juggling flaming chainsaws while riding a unicycle on a tightrope in space. First off, we need materials, and lots of them. We're talking about dismantling a significant chunk of a planet, maybe even Mercury, to get enough raw materials. Talk about a bad day for Mercury. Then there's the whole getting it into space issue. We'd need rockets the size of skyscrapers, and even then, it would take countless trips. Have you heard of my friend Elon Musk from Tesla? Forget about Amazon Prime deliveries. We're talking about a cosmic logistics nightmare. And let's not forget about keeping this massive structure in perfect balance around a giant ball of nuclear fusion. One miscalculation, and we might end up shading the Earth instead of powering it. Talk about an epic fail. But hey, challenges are what make life interesting, right? And who knows, maybe we'll discover some new physics along the way. So, where to start? How do we even begin to tackle this gargantuan project? Well, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will a Dyson Sphere. We need to start small, think big, and then think even bigger. First, we need to master space mining. Asteroids, moons, even planets, they're all potential sources of raw materials. It's like having a cosmic hardware store, but with much longer delivery times. Next, we need to ramp up our space manufacturing capabilities. Forget about building things on Earth and launching them into space. We need to be building things directly in space, using robots, 3D printers, and maybe even some cosmic duct tape. Finally, we need to develop advanced AI and robotics. Constructing and maintaining a Dyson Sphere is a job for an army of robots, not humans. So robots building robots. We're talking about a project so massive that it would make the pyramids of Giza look like Lego projects. Now let's fast forward to a future where we've cracked the cosmic construction code and successfully built a Dyson Sphere. What does that look like for humanity? Imagine a world without energy scarcity, a world where climate change is a distant memory and interstellar travel is as common as hopping on a plane. That's the promise of a Dyson Sphere. With near limitless energy at our disposal, we could transform our civilization, solving our most pressing problems and unlocking possibilities we can only dream of today. We could terraform planets, build self-sustaining space colonies, and maybe even, dare I say it, contact other intelligent life in the universe. A Dyson Sphere represents the ultimate expression of humanity's potential, a testament to our ingenuity and our drive to push the boundaries of what's possible. It's a future worth striving for. Building a Dyson Sphere is a challenge of epic proportions, one that might seem impossible today. But remember, so did putting a man on the moon, splitting the atom, and even inventing the internet. What seems like science fiction today could very well be reality tomorrow. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or in this case, a single solar collector. By pushing the boundaries of science and technology, embracing bold ideas, and never losing sight of the grand vision, we might just be able to turn the dream of a Dyson Sphere into a reality. And who knows, maybe one day, we'll look back at those early, crude attempts at harnessing the sun's energy and chuckle at how far we've come. After all, even the most ambitious journeys begin with a single, audacious dream. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share.